In this video, traders are going to look at seven things only traders know and do. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So funny one, bit of a lighthearted one for this video. Seven things that you do and only traders do and know. All right, number one is you talk in ticker code. So day-to-day -day life, you're walking around and you say, hey, I'm just in MKS buying some food. I've just been to AAPL to check out the latest iPhone. You talk in ticker codes, you're texting, you're emailing, you're whatever you're doing, and you're, you, especially when you're texting, you send a text to someone, you say, hey, I'm just in MKS. They're like, what, what's MKS? Oh, Marks and Spencers. Oh, right, okay. Uh, I'm just, um, have, you tried the new, have you tried the new protein shake from HLF? Uh, what HF Herbalife? Oh, you, you just think it's normal because you're talking ticket codes all the time. You're typing it out um, on your computer and in your chart from day-to-day -day stuff. When you're engaging with retailing, engaging with businesses, you always refer to them as the ticket codes. Much the confusion of the everyday person who goes, "Huh? What are you talking about? What's VOD?" So, like, oh, Vodafone. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. Right. Number two, you assess everything in risk versus reward. As a trader, that's how we think. That's our lives. That's our day-to-day -day business life. It's like, what's the risk on this? Okay, what's the reward on this? Risk-reward ratio is good. Do I want to pull the trigger? Yes or no? So you're out in the street. You're saying, hey, oh, the light's on red for me for crossing the road as a pedestrian. There's nothing coming. What's the risk-reward on this? Ah, uh, you know what? It's not a very quick road. I'm fine. I'm going to go across. Um, obviously, depending on the country you're in, some countries that's illegal. But that kind of thing you're kind of saying oh you know that does that food look undercooked mm, you know what the risk on that of me being sick for the next five days isn't worth the reward of the taste of it i'll leave it out so you're kind of assessing everything in risk versus reward okay number three scanning retail stores for excessive sales or footfall so you're out shopping whether you want to be or not and you're out there and you're kind of looking saying hmm it's pretty busy in here interesting i'm going to run and get back i'm going to pick up the chart and have a little look at this or you're in there you're in the shopping mall and you're saying you know what's rammed in here but that shop is dead hang on a second then you're on your phone you're like bring up the chart you want to see if it's a great short right and we've all been there we've all done that uh number four secretly chuckle when you see a market ticker so what do i mean by this so you know when you see uh on the news or you see kind of those tickers running across the um like a screen or a tape running across some sort of uh how uh, store or something like that or in the street and you kind of chuckle because it says oh the FTSE closed up 10 points today or the dow closed up 100 points today and you're chuckling away to yourself because you know that thing was down 500 it was up 5 million and it, i'm exaggerating but it was up down all over the place and before it closed flat and so everyone's like running along when their day-to-day -day lives with their briefcases and saying oh lovely the dow was up 10 points today that's very very good but little do they know that thing was down heavily first in the morning and you are there like anything scalping away at that at that market always makes me chuckle that one all right number five using trader terminology in everyday life so you're like oh yeah i'll go, I'll go long on that yeah i'm going short oh that's dead cat bounce you're, you're kind of you're just using your terminology for trading you're like uh uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? I'll hit the bid on that one, or yeah, I'll lift the offer. You know, and, you, and you're, you're just talking as you're doing normally. You're talking about buying strawberries in a supermarket or something. And you're saying, ah, oh, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go long on that. And I think that's a good pair trade. That you know, and, and you start to talk because your mind is always working in terms of trading terminology. All right, number six, linking markets to people. What I mean by this. So either in a derogatory term or in a kind of friendly way, you know, a guy cuts you up in the, in, in, the, in the traffic and you're like, oh man, you must be an oil trader or, or something along those lines, not necessarily oil, nothing against oil traders, I'm an oil trader myself, but you kind of say stuff like that. It's like, I bet he was long yen you know, or when it's been crashing the last five days or whatever. You kind of link those market to people and in a derogatory way and in a nice way like oh yeah i bet you were i bet you were long on cryptos weren't you in the boom okay number seven get unnecessarily excited when you see a registration plate with an fx pair i can say i'm pretty guilty of this i you know, a car driving past I'm like, oh it's got jp1 on the end of it i'm taking a photo of a car that had like jp1 on the end of it and thinking oh isn't that so funny or gbp or usd uh obviously it depends on what country you're in and the kind of uh the way that the registration plates or license plates are, uh, are laid out but in the uk we have three letters at the end of our registration plates and often they are going to be either a ticker code like a three letter ticker code and you'll go oh yeah look at uh, vodafone over there driving along in his in his bmw 3 series or oh look at yen and a honda record or whatever and as a trader you're the only person who finds that mildly amusing everyone else is like 
so but there yeah, you're chuckling away to yourself thinking oh yeah there goes the yen down that motorway anyway that's just being like hired stuff guys seven things that only traders know and do i'm sure there are more if you've got them stick them in the comment section below if you're a trader you'll know what i'm talking about you can probably relate to some of these and like i say if you've got any more stick them in the comment section below all right guys thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff see you next one take care bye bye